and uh, today we uh, start the our webinar with the topic uh, scope of supply chain management in the future work is now first of all we learn about the what is supply chain management supply chain management is the handling of the entire production flow of a good or a service to maximize quality delivery the customer experience and profitability there is a chain of process involved right from the producer involved right from the producer and end like with the end user it is the continuous chain where is the consumer start its demand and raw material converted into its demand is for its so when we go the movements of the evolution in the supply chain management there is the six paradigm in the movements in the supply chain management in the first part, we can say that it is the creation era creation that started in the 1980s in the us industry consultancy in the early 90s supply chain management at that time need for the large scale reengineering down sizing driven by cost reduction program that means we are starting supply chain management involved in the creation era that means at that time the why the supply chain management comes into the role for the reductions of the cost after that integrations era will become integrations era at that time when the integration of ict in the industry in that time we are using the three major concepts like the edi electronic data interchange erp and the cell after that the globalization era will become into the <coughs> figure at that time global systems of supplier relationships and the expansion of supply chains digital boundaries to other countries that means now the producers plan its expand its business all over the world after that the specialization travel into the figure at that time specialization there is the time where the outsource marketing or outsource works will come into the figure at that time manufacturing and distributions will be outsource after that the specialization era 2 will become in the figure in that time incipient of transportation brokerage warehouse management non asset based carriers and has matured beyond transportation and logistics into aspects of supply planning collaborations and executions and performance management now the we are using the supply chain management phase 2 in that phase we are using the current trends like new technologies in the supply chain business or the management as per the industry concepts we can say the industry concepts will thus describe the first generation of the supply chain management started in the 1970s to 1980s in that times we are focused on the transportation warehousing freight forwarders brokers and shippers agent that means earlier concept which was involved the second generation of the supply chain started during 1980s to 1990s in that durations we are focused on the asset based company and we start increasing servicing offering after sell the after service will be introduced in this time in the third generation it is the 2000 and beyond in that times online concepts will become and the web based technology will introduce like we can say flipkart amazon and all these things in this 
time we are focused on the increased supply chain integrations of the latest things now we are working on the fourth generation there is the concept of the process redesigning and the consultation modes will become the entire working methods will be changed <clears throat> like flipkart and amazon now we are working from regional or local to the globalization concept what is the benefit of the supply chain in that terms in the terms of benefit we can say we identifying potential problems that means in that time when a customer order more product than the manufacturer can deliver the buyer can complain of poor service through data analysis manufacturer may be able to anticipate the shortage before the buyer is disappointed next is the optimizing price dynamically that means the certain products have a seasonal products have a limited lifetime at the end of this season these products are typically scrapped or sold at deep discounts with the supply chain management we can manage the price it's dynamically and we can utilize the benefit of that things like the best examples we can say that airline company during the festival seasons during the festival season they increase their prices and in the normal season they will give the discounts like airlines hotels and others with perishable products typically at just price dynamically to meet demand next is the improving the allocation of available to promise inventory available to promise inventory explain analytical software tools help to dynamically allocate resource and schedule work based on the sales forecast actual orders and promised delivery of raw materials manufacturers can confirm a product delivery date when the order is placed like when we now book the any items on the facebook facebook will confirm what is the approx delivery date and they try to deliver that products before the commitment date this will possible with the help of supply chain management next is the benefit is the reduction of product losses in transportations and storage because we use technical or systematic manners so that the reductions of the product losses will be negligible better information about the flow of products market and technologies transparency of the supply chains so users can track and tracing of the source each and every points better control of product safety and the quality what is the supply chain management activity involves supply chain management activity involve the certain things like determine channel strategy and level of distribution intensity we can plan in advance where we can distribute or where we can deliver the product within the time frame what is the hurdles during the delivery another is the manage relationships in the supply chain manage logistic compo components of the supply chain balance the cost of the supply chain with the service level demand by customer communications communicator of customer demand from point of sale to supplier physical flow process that engineers the moment of good that means with the help of supply chain management technology we can manage all the activity from producer or from raw material to the consumer so we can handle each and every points of the concepts now 
when we go for the supply chain management there is the certain components of the integrations first is the planning and control so before work on the any projects or the any industry we need to plan how we can start our business what is the our controlling techniques what are our work structure what is the organization structure product flow facility structure management methods power and leadership structure risk and reward structure and the culture and attitude culture and attitude is also important for the supply chain management integration like suppose if we consider bihar so in during the bihar there is the one regional festival is the chhat so for marketing and all this purpose we need to understand what is the local culture and what is the demand according to that cultures now these are the previous concepts in which we are study about so now the concept is the supply chain management what is the future work space supply chain management future work space concept while when we discuss traditional work supply chain management we are focus on the ability <clears throat> focus on the ability movement and cost of physical assets but today supply chains management are about the management of data services and produce products bundle into the solution modern supply chain management is about much more than just where and when supply chain management affects product and service quality delivery costs the customer experience and ultimately profitability and recently as 2017 a typically supply chain access 50 times more data than just 5 years earlier however less than a quarter of this data is being analyzed that means the value of critical <coughs> themselves the data such as <clears throat> the value of the reengineering optimizing and analyzing the data for the maximum potentiality now the supply chain technology what we are using artificial intelligence we are using automated material handle systems be required barcode automatic identifier cloud cloud computing in this scenario the first thing for the supply chain technology is the artificial intelligence because in during the artificial intelligence will automatically give the concepts ki what demands be required as per the user requirement and barcode automatic identifier will reduce the data handling time with the help of barcode reader the device automatically read what is the concepts and what the things we are required another things is the cloud computing cloud computing will give the access of the data globally without any hurdle one more important concept for the supply chain technology be required that is the environmental control systems environmental control systems will be how we can identify the <coughs> environment situations of the certain area with the help of environment we can identify 
the raw material quality and the things according to the things another is the <coughs> flexible manufacturing systems internet of things the next demand for the things is the internet of things internet of the things will the give the access of the certain supply things just a internet of things will give the access to the raw manufacturer distributor or the suppliers manage the things more convenient another is the robotic sensor network printing and the printing. more important is also that is the priority uh, to 2020 for the coming future or the for future work space what is the our priorities for handling these things so first is the reducing cost savings and optimizing work capital so our priority to how we can how we can optimize our work capital means minimum investment and we gain maximum benefit from that things this is the our priority so that we can reduce the our concepts of the cost savings second is the utilization of the technical base utilization of the technical base means <clears throat> technical base involving give the concept of <clears throat> what is the technology we can use during the supply chain management so the latest technology like iot <clears throat> our ai and all these things will help to control the market business and reduce our cost savings second is the rationalizing the supply base supply in during the supply chain management the supply base is the very important so we must know where our supply base is available for handling the our entire delivery all these things so rationalizing the supply base will give the concepts that how the supply part will be handled we can easily so like when we book uh, one laptop the flipkart will say it will delivered within a 24 hours or within a 6 hours so this things can be possible due to rationalizing the supply base they can manage with local vendors and they delivered that laptop from the local supply base so supply base is the very important for these things now another is the improving risk predictions improving risk predictions will say what is the risk during the supply chain management risk predictions means any type of risk will be involved any type of risk that means it may be a weather risk it may be a climate risk political risk or the anything like suppose if there is the in the suppose we are discussing about the in india in the north situation in the north situation sir, like, excuse me sir sorry to disturb sir ppt is not clear sir lots of zigzag linings are on ppt please sir Okay, just a minute. Maybe.
hope uh, now a screen will be clear right no sir no sir yes sir no yes, no it's clear sir now no, it is clear thank you sir yes thank you it's clear sir yes, okay now it's clear yeah okay now <laughs> rationalizing the yeah we are discussing about the risk predictions and the management in the risk predictions yeah we are discussing about the north east situations like uh, in the north east situation certain by the political party often band is called uh, four day bands uh, two days bands so in that case our the supply chain management the iot or the artificial intelligence will predict the risk what is the risk in the supplying the north east so before delivered the saman or before the commitment we will predict that means we are this is the certain situations and we keep that situations in the mind another examples of the dominoes 30 minutes delivery so in the 30 minutes delivery they will promise that we will deliver the pizza within a 30 minutes so in that situation they will give the star mark that means in the normal situation so when we <coughs> book the like uh, book the pizza they will give the situation risk prediction there is the certain area there is a traffic jam so we are unable to deliver the pizza in the 30 minutes you can book in the normal situation so in that time customer will not disappoint and give a perfect results to the you another point is the providing a strategy foresight to the business at the highest level that means with the analysis we can forecast the our business value and as per the business value we can increase our the demands and give the maximum return another part that is the important is the innovating and collaborating with suppliers innovating and collaboration with suppliers will give what is the best way to do the business comes with the concept of the innovations and we can collaborate with the multiple suppliers so the multiple channels or the multiple access of business we have the solutions so these are the things for the prior, uh, doing the business in the under the supply chain management we must go for the priorities now what is the key force of change in the coming futures one most important wide spread adoptions of the technologies including automations across the value chain technology is the advance are the catalyzing the digitalization of supply chain management changing how products and services are made and delivered enabling the creations and sharing of supply chain informations in the new way by more driver set of actors companies are digitally transforming the management of their supply chains by piloting the applied technology such as machine learning blockchain ai reality to traditional supply chain management activities global climate change and resource scarcity we must keep in the minds what is the global climate change come into the existence and what is the resource scarcity next is the human migrations on the mass scale translational labor migrations is an established trend but the past several decades have seen an increase in mass migration this mass movement of people and the circumstances of their migration have shifted economic potential within a countries and introduced new challenges and opportunity for companies seeking to respect and support human rights across their global supply chains for example migrants are particularly 
to labor abuse due to language barriers, lack of formal networks, and limited legal protections. Another point is the shifting consumer demands and changing market <coughs> demographics. Mixed signals on trade and transparency. Because the business is going globally, so the law of the trade and transparency will be changed as per according location to locations. Now, what is the five C's? That is the backbone of supply chain management is the connected. That means we must be <coughs> connected from the latest technologies, IoT, ERP, B2B integration tools, collaborative, cyber aware, cognitive enable and comprehensive analytical data processing because the coming time is of the data. Typically, when we are discussing the supply chain structures, these are the, our structures. It is the relation between supplier, company and customers. In the supplier, we must, if we extended our concept, it is the ultimate suppliers and the ultimate customers. Now, our next things, what is the functions is the typical part. So we are ignoring this uh, concepts. Now, what is the business process integrations? In the business process integrations, it is the customer relationship management, customer service management, demand management style, <coughs> order fulfillment, manufacturing flow management, supplier relationship management and product development and commercializations and the return management. When we are discussing the five major supply chain drivers, that is one is the productions, second is the inventory, third is the locations or we can say that warehousing, transportations, and information. We can't ignore the concept of information or the data in the current scenario. When we discuss the supply chain umbrella, <coughs> the concept is the purchasing, quality control, demand and supply planning, material or inventory control, order processing, productions, planning, scheduling and control, warehouse distributions and customer service. Now we are discussing the case studies of the supply chain management. For in the food chains, you saw <clears throat> it is a see that it is the one is the growers or the farmers. Mm -hmm. Another is the processors, manufacturer, regulator who can manage all the businesses, super, retailer and the consumer. So all things are involved in this phases. Same as the pharma, chemical and these things. Now we are discussing the one last options is the carrier in the supply chain management. Supply chain management is the next big things in the Indian industrial scenario. According to management expert, there is a lot of a scope for supply chain management in India due to increasing uncertainty of supply networks, globalization of business, <coughs> globalization of product variety, and shortening of product life cycle. Personalized content and service for customer added to this cause extra value. Job opportunity of the supply chain management, if we discuss about the industry buys, retail, manufacturing, FMCG, healthcare, transportation, logistics, even e-commerce also. One more sectors, it is the IT company also involved in the supply chain management. The big players of the ITs are the IBM, Accenture, Capgemin, Microsoft, Infosys. Thank you. If you have any questions, please.